All right, all right. So yeah, this update is absolutely incredible. The Oculus Quest 2 has been updated to V28. That brings amazing features like the Oculus Air Link, desk mode with the office spaces, and well, the 120 Hz support. So well, yeah, let's discover it together in this video. Let's get into it. Just a little plug because we are talking about the Oculus Quest 2, I decided to do something crazy for the road to 100k and uh, to celebrate of course we are going to start to give away one Oculus Quest 2 each month till the end of the year since we reach 100k. So of course the sooner the better, remember to like, that really helps the video, share and subscribe and of course, well, enjoy the video! Alright, so this update was kind of leaked today from uh, some uh, different posts on Reddit but then we had the confirmation directly from Buzz, the vice president of Facebook Reality Labs. So yeah, I say that it's pretty official. So today we're announcing features that will begin rolling out soon in the V28 update to the Oculus Quest headset. Oculus Air Link is a wireless way to play PC VR games on the Oculus Quest 2. Infinite Office make getting work done in VR even easier. And well, we're announcing the native 120 Hz support for the Quest 2 for an ultra smooth gameplay experience. Now let's go step by step, right? And let's start with Air Link. Now, as we just said, Air Links give the possibility to people to use PC VR games directly on the Oculus Quest 2, well, wireless, without using the Link cable. It's something that we already used to do with virtual desktop, but of course, Oculus wanted to do something native, and uh, here we have it. Air Link is arriving with V28. This is gonna start as an experimental feature, so of course they're gonna need all the feedbacks and stuff to understand how to evolve it and make it better and better. And it's gonna use your Wi-Fi connection. So if you have a secure and strong Wi-Fi network and your play space is ideally within rough 20 feet of the your fire router, Air Link would be perfect. To have the best experience, of course, it's recommended to have at least a five gigahertz network with an AC or AX router. Of course, connected via Ethernet cable to your PC. I'm gonna leave a link below with the link requirements, of course, it's not working yet right now, but yeah, it's gonna work very, very soon when the update is gonna start to arrive. Of course, also you're gonna need a PC powerful enough to run it. It's an experimental feature, so it's gonna be in beta on the PC and it's gonna be in beta on the Oculus Quest 2, but it's just amazing that this is actually arriving. We kind of expected it being the fact that, well, virtual desktop was actually allowed in this store and well this is gonna be a free option that's, that's always good and it's gonna be directly from oculus so hopefully it's gonna work better and men can dream right now second big update is infinite office now this was amazing uh from the beginning and one of the things that i got interested the most in uh because i really wanted to have this possibility to work directly in vr in case to browse the browser they added in the past the ability to use the mouse and keyboard with the bluetooth and now they're in the possibility to first of all see your desk now there was a little easter egg in the video that you can see over here about the desk glowing because now as you are able to bring your sofa in VR, now you are able also to bring your desk in VR, uh, you can put there your keyboard and you're gonna see your keyboard and you can start to use it directly in your browser. Now there's a catch though, the only keyboard supported right now is the Logitech K8 30. Uh, that is this keyboard over here. Of course, I don't have it. Of course, I don't think many people have it, but they're gonna start with support for just that keyboard and then they're gonna roll out for other different keyboards. Probably because they want a one-to-one -one representation in VR and well, they have a partnership with Logitech also for their headphones. So, well, that's why probably we have that. Uh, now, the super interesting thing though is that you can see, as you can see in the demo over here, uh, your fingers, your hands in VR typing the keyboard so you don't get lost using it. It seems absolutely amazing, I can't wait to check it out, but yeah, this is another experimental feature, so you're gonna have to go in settings, experimental feature, and add uh, this feature over there, enabling the tracking toggle. Now, the juiciest news, though, is the 120 Hz on the Oculus Quest 2. It's finally arriving. Yes, it was teased from very long. It, it's crazy that we went from 72 Hz at the beginning to 90 Hz right now to what we're gonna have with 120 Hz with V28. Now again, this is an experimental feature and it's just starting. Uh, so there are actually no games right now that support this feature, but if you enable it in the menu, well, you're gonna be able in the future to use 120 Hz for different games. I have to say that the experience with 120 Hz is always fantastic. I use it all the time with a Valve Index and uh, well, I can tell you that you can really feel the difference. But at the same time, you have to be aware that uh, your visual clarity is gonna get compromised a bit because of course, 
we're running an XR2, so uh, it's not gonna be able to make miracles. 120 Hertz is already a miracle over there. The headset is gonna get heated up a bit uh, because of course it's gonna use more power and that means that your battery life is gonna be a little compromised. But if you want the smoothest of the experiences, well, now you have the option and it's absolutely amazing. So now developers are gonna be able to work on the 120 Hertz support for their games and then add it. So uh, with the toggle on, you're gonna be able to use those games as 120 Hertz. Now the system for now will stay at 90 Hertz. So in menus also it's going to be everything at 90 Hertz. And unfortunately, even if I really dreamed about it, Oculus Link is not going to be able to use 120 Hertz. So you can't play yet PC VR games at 120 Hertz uh, with the official link or even the air link that is gonna arrive. We're locked still at 90 Hertz. I'm pretty sure the guy for virtual desktop is gonna do something to make it available. Uh, but yeah, uh, for the official part, well, we're still locked in 90 Hertz. They're gonna try to improve as soon as possible to have it on link as well. But yeah, PCBR lovers, we gotta wait a bit more. But yeah, here we have guys. This was the update V28. I think it is absolutely incredible. They added all the stuff that we are really waiting for uh, for a while. They were teased a lot, 120 Hertz, like many people didn't even think it was possible, but well, it's here, it's coming, and very, very soon. I'm super excited for that, and I wasn't expecting it at all Air Link. Uh, they kept it very uh, tight because we didn't know anything about it, even if it were kind of expecting it. And uh, yeah, having it right now officially without paying anything is just amazing. And hopefully it's gonna work very, very well. And with the rives, we're gonna test it together. So uh, subscribe, so you're not gonna miss it, of course. So let's start rebooting our request over and over because yeah, we want that update to come as soon as possible. Anyway, guys, as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, just like. Subscribe to the channel for more VR tech. And if you really love the channel, there's a join button down there. Little and further, also the Patreon. We prior access to video, thanks to all the patrons, of course. And uh, we also have t-shirts, sticker mask 2021, item number one. As always, again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching. It's freaking late.